Hi guys, in today's lecture, we will look at how to take a 3D model and make an app using Enabler. So let's get started. Now you can download 3D models from online to get started because right now you don't know 3D modeling. So this is just a basic lecture on how to start with Enabler. So we have a website here, which is educational3dmodels.blogspot.com. You can just make note of this. There are some 3D models which are posted online by somebody. Now these 3D models are here. You can just download from this web page. Now these 3D models will download in a zip format and you can use it to upload here. So I have downloaded a few 3D models here. These are already in zip format. Now let's go ahead and view those 3D models. So I'm going to view them in Blender just so that we can practice Blender. I would also suggest you do that in Blender. So I'm going to go to Blender. I'm going to select both of these, clear it out. So I'm going to say delete. Then I'm going to say file, import, FBX. So I'll just repeat that step once again. I'm going to say file. I'm going to say import and then I'm going to say FBX. So I'm going to go to my folder here, which is the human body and I will click on it and I will import the FBX file. Now, as you can see the 3D model here. So I dragged my mouse over this and I used this section to rotate it. So I just held my mouse on top of this and I rotated it around. This is just to show you. Okay, this is just to show you what the 3D model looks like. So I'm going to show you how to import another 3D model. So I will go to import. So file, import, FBX. I have, let's say, hand bones. I'll click on hand bones and say import FBX. So this is another 3D model that we downloaded from the same website. So this is again an FBX file here, which is hand bones. We've already seen this 3D model before. So I'm going to right click and send the 3D model directly to a zipped folder and name it as hand bones underscore try. So I'm going to move this folder. So I'll say cut and paste it here. So these are my two zip files, which I'll be using to upload on my enabler website. So I hope this total lecture was clear for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.